chili one. Double layered. <clears throat> Double layered. Oh, I still have my morning. I mean everything. Want to go hit a gas station. You guys can't hear me or not, but go hit a gas station, go get my coffee. This day started. says um, 37 degrees. Whoa. Sorry about that. So yeah. The exterior temperature 37. It's not really blowing so it probably is 37. So I checked and it was actually 34 but it feels like 29. So today hey. is the home inspection. Right here. What the hell do I have? Lotion. Creamer? Oh no, lotion. I had just put on lotion. Damn. People are gonna think I do this. Yeah, I got right. creamer. Real quick. Creamer. <clears throat> this chick be on her creamer. Anyway. <laughs> I put lotion on. Sorry. Um, I just wanted to update you. So today, Wednesday, I'm gonna look at the camera. Yeah. We we have a home inspection coming up at two. So that should go over smoothly. What? On this one? I said I'm crossing my fingers and hoping. So, yeah. Hoping for what, Mama? For the best. For them to say, oh, this house is great. <laughs> Girl, me too. I need to poke my eyebrows. You just keep looking at my stuff. Leave me alone. Oh, you don't? You don't look at me like that? Yeah, girl, look at that. Anyway. Yeah, so Cora got her a $1.50 deal sandwich. Apparently a $1.50. You could have even got the triple stack one, but this one doesn't make it. Damn, I'm grateful. Oh, girl, I'm grateful, girl. You see me eating? I'm keeping me. Then I got my 99 cent coffee. Chug, 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 chug. Anyway, yeah, we're super excited. Another step off the little checklist today. So the home inspection will be at 2 later this um, afternoon. And hopefully everything goes smoothly and there's nothing major wrong with it. Luckily, so. it's not a house that's not for sale as is. So, if something were to be jacked up or whatever, more than likely they would help us or fix it for us. So, that's awesome. Yeah. Somehow they would work some kind of deal out with us. Where they would give you, like, X amount of credit, money, or reduce something, or pay for part of it, or something. I don't know. But they're, they're willing to work with us, so... Shoot. I think mostly it's because we offered them the full price mm -hmm. and it's be that was um, solely because it had only been like 21 days since they had posted it for sale so more than likely they weren't gonna try to haggle and go down and all that but since it did have um, it, well, it didn't have I should say where it has as it is we went ahead and you know put our request in all they can say is no or they can counter back with something so Yeah, um, what was I going to say? Yeah. It's, it's a good house. It's a great house. I, I like the other house that we had, but this one is just like, it's just that extra little room that makes it more comfortable for me, mm -hmm. I feel like. Plus like, that nice shed. Uh, <laughs> like the other house, if it was just one bedroom and like the other bedroom where it was, like it was just open space or whatever, it would have been perfect. But there's two of us and, you know. Yeah, so. and now there's three of us. <laughs> so that's going to be, that's going to be interesting, guys. How we're going to fit three people in a two bedroom. And each of us want our own space. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, 
I think I'm volunteering to be in the living room. So we're gonna be, not I think I'm volunteering, I'm volunteering. So they can each have a bedroom. And if that shed turns out to be in good condition, we can always insulate it and make it into Cora's little she shed that she wants. I'm not kicking her out or anything. She wants to have her own like space space with her dogs. So then I'll have a bedroom, but other than that, I'll, I'm the one volunteering to go into the living room. And I mean, I could share the room with Cora, but I don't want to be with two dogs climbing all over me at night. Mm -hmm. So. But they're so, they're so soft and warm. Yeah. It feels nice. But they still smell like, like dogs. They still got that doggy smell. So, I really yeah, not. Let me get a house, I bathe them. It's not even that, it's just, that's just natural. No, it's it's a dog smell, but. but. I'm just saying, I need to bathe them. Yeah. Her hair's going back, so hopefully she'll be a little fluff ball again. Mm -hmm. So yeah, guys, I thought we'd just share that and we'll let you know as soon as we know something on the inspection, so. Look at her setup right now, guys. No oh, better jaw. We're doing orders, so we're charging our phones. With the jack, with the jack. Can they see that? Yeah. There aren't any plugs here. No. Wait, look. Maybe he works here. Look. No, I know I saw. There's no like plug plugs available. Um, but of course we have the library, and we have uh, Panera. Panera. So, and Cali Burrito. Yeah. Anyhow, so as soon as we know something, we will let you know and upload this tomorrow. So, thanks for watching. You guys, so the home inspector just went outside to go get some tools and he's going to like thoroughly check everything. Um, the dang home inspection is $300. I don't know if it, that's cheap in your area or expensive in your area. I don't know. But anyway, it's worth to know what's going on before you make a you know, a good size purchase, but not cool. The kitchen is way bigger than the one that we had before. We're able to do, um, right here, put a, a fridge, then the stove there. It even has a little dishwasher. And on this side, we can put a little, maybe a four seater table. The living room, they all have uh, ceiling fans, but this is the heater. So if any of you guys know how to work that, let me know. It's a good size, good size living room. Sorry, I'm getting you dizzy. But, um, yeah, it just has like the little thermostat thing. I'm just gonna click on and off. The ceiling fans are really pretty. Um, let's see. There's a water heater thing here in the bathroom. So that's kind of noisy, but a lot bigger than the other one we had and the cool part is there's actually outlets in this bathroom so. plus here's bedroom one bedroom two they put these new linoleum floors they got pretty decent sized closets We're gonna have to definitely insulate or spray foam some of those corners, but yeah, this front one has two windows. It's kind of hard to show you, but this is where it's, there's access to the, the bathroom plumbing. So maybe just kind of paint over that, try to match the, the color somehow. But this is the second bedroom, which only has the one south facing window. And here's some more ceiling fans, really pretty. There's another closet. It's kind of hard to see you guys, and I'm trying to hurry and not bother this man. But
So there's the shed that Cora keeps talking about. It looks about eight by 12 to me. I don't know, maybe something we can work with. But the yard, pretty good size yard. So This is the back of the house. those poles are for a little birdhouse yeah it's a, it's a good size yard guys and we will have window units again which I don't really mind I'm used to the window units anyway so okay, I can use that plant some tomatoes or something There is my van. But this is the kitchen, uh, second door, kitchen door. So I'm in the living room. Looks like maybe a 10 by 12 or 10 by 16 line. It's a pretty good size. That's where I'll have like a couch or something. And then on this end where the door is, I'll have the TV. It's really nice. Hey guys, so, so far, all the inside stuff he said is, well, what he said, not he said, what he has said um, seems like it's pretty good um, condition for the year house, 1952. Um, like the plumbing is new, PEX piping, I think it's called, it's had new um, wiring up in the attic and fairly new um, breaker box thing everything's wired the way that it should so so far so good now he's gonna he just stepped out and he's gonna try to access the crawl space and see about um, where the bedrooms are there's like a a crack on the foundation on either side um, hopefully it's not too bad of a thing and later on if it's something that's not too bad like the whole wall is gonna fall out um, I can always have like the a foundation specialist I think that's what he called it to come out and look at it and see to put some kind of piers and kind of stabilize it a little bit so it doesn't um, bow or break or whatever even more but so far, so good. So hopefully he can access the crawl space and look really good. So far, so good, guys. So far, so good. Please pray for me because we need this house. <laughs> we need a house, but this one just seems to be like almost perfect. So, all right, I'll keep you updated and we'll see. We'll see what he says. And hopefully either later Maybe tomorrow he'll have the, the report ready and all that stuff, so. But anyhow, yeah, I'll keep you updated and if I need to film a bit more, then I will and I'll piece it all together and then show you guys tomorrow, so. You guys, just looking at the stove here. Uh, I've been daydreaming about popping a pizza in the oven, okay? Plus I'm hungry, I haven't had lunch yet. I just had my coffee this morning and um, I thought that I would just come back after the the inspector inspector sorry the inspector came about an hour and a half later I would just come for like the review whatever he said but he had already been looking at the outside the roof everything before I even came here um, so he arrived a bit early so that's good um, but yeah um, right here I'm like oh I want to be 
He's, uh, he even, he's been turning all the, the appliances. Well, it's just basically like this and the water heater. Oh, the dishwasher. But he's been like turning everything on, the making sure that the water gets hot. Luckily, the the utilities are still on. So, let's see, there's light, water runs, um, the gas is connected. So he was able to turn all the burners on and the oven and everything. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited. Like, I want to cook a pizza. I want to cook a pizza, guys. <laughs> and get a microwave for my baked potatoes and sweet potatoes yams all that so good thing i have my instant pot i can cook all kinds of stuff there too and i do have my pot and my little frying pan so i'll be able to get to cooking and i gotta look for a fridge which i was kind of nervous that i wouldn't be able to fit a fridge somewhere around here um, and I would have to put it on this end this corner where the dining little dining table maybe to sit about four we're gonna look for a little used little dining table but yeah I was I was kind of nervous we still have to push it over but um, to see if a fridge would fit there or not I couldn't remember when I came and looked at these houses to see if I was able to fit a fridge right there and I am. There's like three foot of space. You can see the little um, tiles there. So yeah, I'm pretty excited. We'll just put it side by side there. And plenty of cabinets. Like those two big top ones, all those down there. There's plenty of food storage. Um, what else? And then in the bedrooms, eventually, I'll, I'll be getting those uh, tall, like 18 inch uh, bed frames. So we can always um, store five gallon buckets of our preps, you know, food basically. Have a few of rice and beans and oats or whatever else. Not that many, but you know, a five gallon bucket like feeds you for quite some, some time. So yeah, we'll have two to four under each bed plus whatever other preps but I mean food and money is the only thing I want in abundance besides you know of course health <laughs> health love food abundance did I say that right anyhow you guys get what I'm saying everything else I want it like it's clean and minimalistic and uh, just relaxing and like zen zen all right, you guys, you guys can tell I'm a little excited. Um, unfortunately, Cora and um, my mom didn't get a chance to come over here, which I think is kind of good. Just let the man work and do his thing while I do little video clips. But yeah, so they'll be excited to, to hear the news that so far so good. But he's, I can hear him under doing his thing under the crawl space, so here it comes. No. So, he just came in and he said that he was um, wanting to run some water because he thinks there's about an, a little bit of an issue under. Hopefully not too bad. I'll show you guys the bathroom. And I hope there's no leaks because on the paperwork it says that they put new sewer piping under um, under the house and there's also a French drain under the house so hopefully it's nothing too serious but we shall see that's why we get a home inspection if you can afford it It'll save you thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars in the long run if, if you don't know. So it's better to 
pay the $300 and get a home inspection, and this man is thorough, and he's pretty good, um, versus spending 45000 and then I have to put in a ton of stuff, and it just, yeah, so we shall see. So, with the pegs, you still have some of the old cast iron and stuff.